Hey y'all, it's me, Cole Marie. I'm back with another video, and today we are going to be removing this dome from the photo pendant. You can see it's really messed up. I wouldn't necessarily call it an air bubble, but it looks, you know, messed up, and today we're going to fix it. So we're going to start off with some water, okay? That's the main ingredient. That is the only ingredient. We're just getting some water. We're really going to just throw this cup into the microwave. We're going to microwave it for about a minute or so, and that is it. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop our pendant into this water. It won't damage anything, I promise. I've done it all before. Off to the side, I'm going to be go ahead and cutting out my new image. Now, this is what I'm going to need for the project total. We have our scissors, our photo, and of course, some glue. Today, I'm using Mod Podge Dimensional Magic. Once I feel like it's sat long enough, I actually dump the water out of the cup. If you like sticking your hands in water, go right ahead. I have a problem where I just can't do that, I'm not sure why. You just want to go ahead and grab it. You can see no damage is done to the dome or the pendant. We're actually going to reuse the same pendant and the same dome. So right now our task is to remove the dome from the pendant. Once it's soaked, it, it usually loosens up the glue to where we can either push a certain part and pop it out or we'll have to use a knife and pry it out so that is what we're doing now this doesn't take long at all so if you've been throwing pendants away or tray charms away today is the day that you stop doing so okay i have a video up about this but this is just a more detailed video showing you exactly how i remove it and reuse it so now we're going to take our fingernails and remove all the rusty crusty glue from around the corners because we need a flat surface when making photo trays if you don't have a flat surface um you're going to have air bubbles there's just no way around it Here I had noticed there were still some glue uh, scrapes on the dome and I'm just scraping it off, submerging it in some water and then I'm going to get the rest of it off but trust me in about a second or so it's going to be good as new. So here it is now, we just did the finishing touches and it is perfect. So now it's time to start cutting our image and we're basically tracing the heart with our scissors. Get it as precise as possible, but just know with a regular pair of scissors like I'm using, you cannot create a perfect height. It just does not work. Um, but you can get super close, close enough to where the heart appears to be perfect underneath the dome. That is all that we're worried about. So don't cut too much to where you're seeing um, angles that are cut off or missing from your heart. You don't ever want to do that. And here's where we're applying our Mod Podge.
Cabal like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo. Pablo, cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope, chop trees with the Draco. Draco on the knock got Diego. Diego. Say I still a wago. We'll be in rapping kilo. Yeah. Snub nose with potato. Take, take out. No monkey in the jungle, fly high like a sauna. Bouncing off and I'm trying to weave an anaconda. Jumping in the water, trying to sleep across the border. Got sea cars out, got me be bad for Ronald. Out, bag it, bag of money, know I gotta have it. Savage, but I'm still a gentleman in the cat. So you don't have to be heavy with the glue at all. Now we're applying pressure. And now it's all finished. It looks perfect. You don't have any mistakes. We're going to keep an eye on it. Those of you who already have done these before, you know to kind of keep an eye on it. If you felt this video was helpful in any kind of way, please give me a like and a comment and subscribe. Also check out my website here where I create custom photo pendants like this one right here for people. You can easily go on this website, upload your photo, and I would be finished with it within three days and I will get it shipped right over to you. Also, if you're in business for yourself, head on over to my other website and I can help you out with business cards or websites or thank you cards.